Wednesday, our general topic. Last week we talked about uh, ahimsa, nonviolence. We all know the next uh, ladder or the sub ladder in the yam is uh, satya. But in order to walk on this path, you need something else also, which is called a willpower. Okay. Whatever I talked about last week also, or I talk about in the other classes also, if you don't have a strong will, if you don't have a proper willpower, we can hear all we want to, read all we want to, but there's no progress. So that's why Today's topic is uh, insight into willpower. In Sanskrit, the willpower is called Sankalpa Shakti. This is a guiding force uh, behind every project. Whether it relates to material objects or spiritual attainment. Sankalpa Shakti, willpower. A person who possesses willpower is able to keep the resolves that he makes. So if you have made a resolve that you are going to walk on the path of nonviolence, you need willpower. Because one who lacks willpower repeatedly fails to achieve his or her goals. So you start something, then you find yourself in the same ground without any progress. Because we learn from all the scriptures that our soul is part of that infinite power. You can call it infinite resources. And the mind is the one which is drawing these resources from the soul, whether you call it energy or whether you call resources. So for the mind to function, you need to have that energy from the soul. And soul is the same in all of us. It's not a higher or a lower soul. It's the same. But we know that mind can be either positive or negative. It can either use energy or misuse it. So even though all of us have the same potentiality of immense energy, most of us do not utilize this inner energy properly. Many people misuse this potential. Why? Because of ignorance. So in other words, you create a negative or positive situation by willpower. Okay. For example, if you place yourself in a miserable situation, it is an expression of the negative power of your mind. So to stay in a negative emotion, you need a willpower for that too. But you are using the willpower negatively. So it is important to understand how to develop positive willpower. So this is why I decided to talk about this willpower today. We all want to feel happy. We want to develop a sense of dignity. And we all want to succeed in life. And we must be able to see that we have the strength of willpower to do what is necessary in our life. And while we are doing it, we got to be careful not to make negative resolves. There are three directions that your willpower can take. Satvik, Rajsik, and Tamsik. Satvik willpower is a sublime. 
when does it manifest when we help other people by helping other people we are directing good thoughts good wishes towards them or when you develop the internal resolve that let me attain enlightenment let me become a devotee of god when you develop satvik will power it begins to draw upon inner mystical resources that's what's called divine grace so satvik will is a highly advanced function of your will and when you execute that you will feel relaxation in your personality and because of this relaxation in your personality it feels good you feel light you feel light hearted your body functions better so this is from a satvik will power compared to this what is a rajasik will power rajasik will power is guided by our ego at the plane of the ego you develop ideas such as if i were to succeed in certain project in certain area i should be happier so that means you are basing your happiness based upon the success in the outer field that's a ego talk i should be happier wealthier more prosperous that's all ego and that's rajasik will power compared to this what is a tamasik will power tamasik will power is completely gross whenever we have a erroneous notion that someone is in our way from a practical point of view the person may have a perfectly rational notion that someone is against his project and that someone is jealous of him but as a result of this when we develop tamasik will and we just get determined i want to take revenge upon that person that is a tamasik will power so energy is the same how do you are using it with what kind of a thought pattern what kind of a mind tamasik will is detrimental because if you sustain it you will gradually weaken your spiritual sensitivity and your life will become shallow meaningless because we know every negative thought that is directed towards others comes back to the person who directs it that's a law of nature in fact it harms the one who sends out the negative thoughts with the double the impact because it's hitting something somebody and there's a force over there too and you receive it back that's why it's very important for us to understand the immense resources that are in our soul and we got to learn how to draw upon these resources with great patience to elevate our life there's no limit to what we can do to elevate ourselves no limit with the help of the satvik will though they say the sky is the limit but yogically speaking i would say 
God or the Brahma is the limit. People encounter positive and negative situations every day in life. <clears throat> positive situations cause fewer problems than negative situations. Because negative situations, they create despair, frustration, worry, anxiety. So that's why it's very important uh, to learn the art of preventing negative situations whenever possible. So that means tamasikta and rajasikta eradicate from your personality. We got to cultivate the art of enduring. Whenever negative comes, endure it with patience and with insight. That's, that is the secret of developing willpower. Endurance. Because if you continue to pursue your goals, even in the midst of adversities, you will develop willpower. Okay, continue. Keep an eye on your goal. Keep on persevering with enough endurance. With the insight, you will grow. We know that all great men in every walk of life, whether they are the clergymen, businessmen, politicians, or intellectuals, they have the ability to cope with the adverse situations that arise in their lives. It's not that adversity does not come. They bear insult and injury with the patients. They do not become demoralized when other people criticize them. So in order to develop strength of will, strong willpower, you must learn to be cautious in the dealings with other people. Because if you are not cautious about it, you will develop a personality that is that gets easily upset. And when you get easily upset, you are losing your power. Because there are so many insignificant things that go in the world. If you just stay preoccupied with little things, then when the bigger problems come, problems that should really be a concern to you, your mind will be in a state of shock. Also, if you analyze your mind and become reflective, you will realize that people create their own troubles so much of the time. They just put themselves down. So that's why we got to have a discipline in our life in a such a way that we don't put ourselves down. Look at yourself from the inner part of you, which is part of God. That's where you draw the strength. You are part of God. That will keep you balanced, that will keep you calm. So in other words, discipline your personality so that you do not develop this kind of a habit where you have the inferiority complex or where you have a worrying habit. Because if you don't have a strength in you, inner strength, you will worry. Because you will find that when this habit infests your mind, you will worry no matter what the situation is. And when you worry, your willpower is going down. You may think that when you get rich, you wouldn't have to worry about anything. 
But if you have not worked on your worrying habit, one day you will become rich, but you will find your worries have multiplied. As the money grew, so did your worries. Nothing in the world can remedy your worry except your own philosophical insight. So we need to develop this insight. And what is this insight? Insight is that you are sustained by the divine hand. God is with you. Whatever is happening, this was the best under the circumstances. God does not make mistakes. Develop faith in God. Otherwise, if we keep on arguing with God or worrying about our situations, that means we do not have a faith in God. So develop faith in God and also in the divine plan. Otherwise, we are saying that God, you made a mistake. If you have faith, you will not have to worry. Remember that. If you are in the process of overcoming the worrying habit, negative imagination, fear, and agitation, we got to remove these. We got to work on it. Only then you will begin to see the willpower is increasing. Otherwise, you are, your willpower is being drained with all these negative imaginations. What if? Who will take care of me? Why this happened? Mind keeps on going towards the past. Why? You're draining your energy. And so is your willpower. Further, as you develop more sattva, the ideas that enter your mind are not guided by your ego, but by cosmic will. Cosmic will means this aggregate will, what's happening. You're part of the big picture. But when you become arrogant, egotistic, then you are putting yourself in a small cocoon. You have to enlarge this. There is no doubt. When, when you see this, there's no doubt in your mind. When the saints and the sages take up a project, any kind of a project, and those people normally, they take up the project for the entire humanity. They are completely relaxed about it. Why? Because they know that the one who handles the project and who leads the project to success is the divine self. It's not my project. I heard that from my Guruji's many times. Ashrams, yoga, this is not anybody's property. It's a God's project. Leave it up to him. You just become only a servant to God. And divine self, divinity, God has no problems. So why should we worry? Okay, so we got to learn to hand it to him. We should not develop willpower for the petty things. For tuning yourself to God. Like a do, God do this. Begin to discover immense power of will within yourself by connecting to him and enlarging yourself. Your mind will become a reservoir of energy. Your own good thoughts will uplift you. And not only you, countless people with you. You will emanate that kind of energy. 
you will realize that you are not a limited personality because you have discovered a universality within you and this is the goal of will power so will power is not for petty things will power is to connecting with him i want to follow non violence because i want to be one with he who is completely non violent a person who is interested in developing his personality definitely should adopt a measure of discipline if you don't have a discipline we cannot walk on this path but definitely the discipline should be according to our capacity and circumstances we should not just keep on following others we got to look at it which station in life i am what is my duty right now because there are several kinds of disciplines getting up early in the morning at the same time every day planning your day with a particular schedule that's a discipline fasting or giving up food all of these are measures that strengthen the will power you have all seen that if you make a resolve that for next week i am not going to eat any sweets and if you can continue doing that your will power will improve or if you say i am going to get up in the morning for next 30 days every single day i'm going to meditate you will see that your will power will increase but remember there's a little caution disciplines of this type in themselves should not become the end they are not the end goal they are just the means so that's why you should not go overboard because these disciplines are limited the idea learn to see the idea behind the discipline the idea behind discipline is to develop a highly elevated mind the mind which listen which is listening to you and mind which is utilizing every situation efficiently so you are training your mind in adopting a course of discipline a person should understand the appropriateness of a certain austerity depends upon many factors the time the place those you associate with your stage in life your level of spiritual evolution etc as you evolve your disciplines will change you will adopt to a different level of discipline which will be meaningful at that stage but before time it was not meaningful you got to understand that so that's why disciplining yourself must always be careful alert not to just undertake something that will hurt you because we are responsible for this physical body also suppose you decide to give up protein rich foods for some time for a week for example and you feel good about it then you say okay i'm going to do it for a whole year but we know if we ignore the laws of nature laws of our health we can become terribly sick also so use common sense in these areas also so you should also realize that there are certain defects involved in the ordinary measures of will power for example you might say that starting today i'm going to give up sugar for a whole week 
then you start counting the days and striking each day of the calendar. And on the evening of the sixth day, you say, oh, now I can eat sweets. You are canceling the whole thing. Because during the whole week, what did you do? You became obsessed, imagining all the joys of eating sweets. That's all they did. That's not strengthening the willpower. So be careful about that. Rather, I would say, develop a broad understanding of how you can discipline yourself to take advantage of every situation in your life. So broaden it. Balance yourself in the midst of adversity. Pursue your goals with endurance. Meditation, prayer, jap, satsang. Balancing your life day by day. Reading about the lives of great people and following their example. All these will enable you to shake off weaknesses. Feeble-mindedness. Because if we have a feeble mind, we don't have a strong will. Got to get rid of that feeble mind. The unnecessary wastage of mental energy we got to get rid of. Because how do we waste the mental energy when we worry, when we are afraid? All the negative emotions. But you will see that as your will develops, you evolve so effectively that you, became, you become one with God. What happens is God's will is your will. And that's where the immense joy and freedom comes. And there are many, many examples of great personalities who acted through this divine will or God's will. That's why I said that read about these great personalities. Know more about these great personalities. Moses was one of them. Such kind of a personality. The divine will was operating through him when he led his people out of the slavery in the land of Egypt. And the ocean gave the passage. Moses himself did not know what to do. He surrendered to the divine will. He saw the mighty power of God operating an ocean rose up like a mighty wall of water, which allowed all the people to pass through. Because who is the owner of this nature? Whether it's an ocean or whether it's a mountain. Who is the owner? God is. When we join our will with the divine will, miracles happen. This is a miracle. That's why I said earlier, the saints and sages, they do not act according to their individual will ever. They perform cosmic tasks in accordance with God's will. Let me give you another example. There is a beautiful story in Mahabharata, which further illustrate this point. Most of you know about that, Jaidrath. Jaidrath was a great demonic personality. He joined the Kauravs armies. Because in Mahabharata, there was a war between the Kauravs and Pandavas. Pandavas were the virtuous people, Kauravas were not. During that time, Lord Krishna himself drove the chariot of Arjun, who was a Pandav. 
during the course of the mahabharat war jaydrath caused the death of abhimanyu arjun's son and arjun made a terrible vow that if he did not kill jaydrath the very next day before sunset he would enter fire and he will end his life and it so happened that arjun was unable to kill this great tyrant on the appointed day because jaydrath was very well guarded by kauravas lord krishna knew this lord krishna with his will because he was in a human personality at that time with his will he made a magical veil over the sun so that it seemed like that sun has set and the corvas said okay all right arjun has to die now so they made a big pyre for arjun to go into lord krishna told arjun as you walk into the fire keep your bow and arrow fixed and ready and enter like a hero that's what he did when he was going into that fire jaydrath lifted his head where he was hiding above the crowd to see whether arjun has entered the fire or not at that moment when his head was visible lord krishan withdrew the veil that he had put across the sun he said oh arjun there is still time fulfill your resolve and shoot the arrow now and that's what arjun did arjun looked up and saw jaydrath's neck extending above the ranks of the kauravs troops he carefully aimed the arrow flew straight into jaydrath's head so these are the illustrations of mighty will since every individual is essentially one with god that's what we know from this vedic philosophy we are all one with god we got to make sure that with our devotion with our surrender with our understanding with our endurance we join our will with god's will when an individual becomes the channel of divine will he can accomplish things that are beyond human imaginations so that means let the ego out because i told you as long as the ego is there it's rajasik we got to work on the satvik life <clears throat> compared to this kind of a will which is potentially hidden in everyone human will for little things is petty often times disgusting so we got to be careful about this so in the beginning when you start to develop will power <coughs> excuse me you have to discipline yourself to do little things successfully so small things successfully you strengthen your will power then make sure that your will power has the color of satvikta you learn to will and to pursue what you have willed with sustained effort and gradually as you become more disciplined you discover growing within yourself that you are able to exercise your will power in more complicated tasks also not just in the simple task that's why daily discipline is a very simple task getting up in the morning doing what you're supposed to do you're clean cleansing this body cleaning of this body and making sure do exercise eat right pray meditate all that those are small things 
doing some kind of a seva, join some kind of a satsang group that strengthens your willpower. Those are small things, but they count a lot. And then later on, we'll know how to join our will with the divine will also. It's a, 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 something like a studying mathematics. See, like a math concepts are graded according to the level of education. When we were in elementary school, elementary math, we applied those concepts, simple concepts. But when we reached to the advanced math, all those simple concepts seem so ironclad. Some of them we even discarded those because we were looking at from a different light. In the same manner, the willpower you cultivate on the beginning level is only power in a relative sense. At the advanced level, your will becomes a divine will and your personality becomes just a channel of the divine will operating through it. So human personality becomes just an instrument in the divine hand. So in that sense, we say that God is doing everything. God has many, many hands, many, many eyes, countless ears. So to reach that goal, however, you must have a clear idea that what, what your ego wills, no matter how wonderful it may appear, is based on ignorance. Because the ego is the outcome of the ignorance. So whatever ego wills, it is out of ignorance. By pursuing the ego's desires, you keep yourself involved in the wheel of birth and death. On the other hand, when your goal is to transcend ego, discover that divine will within, then you reach the real source of joy. The bliss that lies within, it's not outside. It's not outer achievements. So in order to develop that type of will, your mind must experience day by day a sense of joyousness based upon surrender to God. Nothing goes wrong in the divine plan. We should firmly believe in that. Because knowing this, your mind should be permeated with joy and cheerfulness. It's God's plan. I don't see the future, but there is a goodness for me in the long run. Have a faith in God's plan. And another great quality we need to develop is fearlessness. Fearlessness. Do not be afraid. No matter what happens, even in the worst situations, there is a divine power within you. God is there to sustain your personality. Not only should you practice fearlessness, but you should also radiate fearlessness. You are all familiar with this prayer. When we pray to God, Please, God, develop purity, purity of heart in me so that I can lead to my goal. Very simple saying, Taname manaha shiva sankalpa mastu. Sankalpa, the willpower. That's what we are saying. May my mind be endowed with auspicious will. And what is auspicious will? Sattvic will. And I just talked about the sattvic will. Taname mana shiva sankalpama. So shiv means auspicious, positive. This is a Vedic prayer. And which really implies that this mind that does amazing things may it be endowed with an auspicious sankalap, auspicious will. May it not waste its energy over petty things. 
So then we have to decide, we got to see, we got to reflect how many petty things we have been wasting our energy. And that's why we don't see any growth, vertical growth. Even though horizontally we've been moving, crossing and turning, trying many, many things, but vertical growth will happen with this. Let your mind turn to these prayers as soon as you wake up in the morning. You're all familiar with this prayer. First thing in the morning, do this. Very simple to remember also. Sarve sham swasti bhavatu. Sarve sham shanti bhavatu. Sarve sham purnam bhavatu. And sarve sham mangalam bhavatu. When we have these kind of prayers, then our own will is being united with the higher will. What this means is, may there be auspiciousness, goodness for all, not just for me. Because when I say for me, that's Rajsik. When I say only for me and nobody else, that's Tamsik. When I say all, that's Satvik. May there be auspiciousness or goodness for all. May there be peace for all. May there be happiness for all. May no one suffer. Do you want me to repeat it again? In Sanskrit it goes, Sarve Sham Swastihi Bhavatu. Sarve Sham Shantihi Bhavatu. Sarve Sham Purnam Bhavatu. Sarve Sham Mangalam Bhavatu. Very simple as I said earlier. May there be auspiciousness for all. May there be peace for all. May there be happiness for all. May no one suffer. If you are treading the path of yoga or the path of self-realization, it's the same thing, whether you call it a yoga or self-realization, same thing. You will discover amazing power of will operating through your personality. So if you stay on the path, you will see it. It's very obvious. The power that will destroy all your obstacles. Whatever the obstacles are, they get destroyed. Because you are connected with the higher, the highest. Just like I gave you the examples of Moses and Archa. There are many, many examples like that. These are just two different examples I gave you today. That will sublimate the negative forces into positive one. And will enable you to do immense good to humanity. Because that's what a yogi's life is. Yogi lives for others. He or she is not a yogi who is self-centered, who lives for others. And these are the prayers which takes us towards that because we understand it. We live all day long. It's not just only saying in the morning, but the rest of the day, your actions, your words, your thoughts, they are geared towards these prayers also then. So I'm going to stop it here. If anybody has a question, comment. Because you are going to need this willpower. Because we have this willpower. But if we are, we understand it properly, then we definitely climb on this ladder of Ashtang Yoga, which we started talking about last week. Okay. <clears throat> Samita? Yes. I want to introduce my friend from New York. His name is Domingo Hernandez. And he's my very, very, very close friend. Thank he's you. He's just like my brother. And I told him about this. 
and he is a very spiritual person. He is not. He is on this path for several years because that is what brought us together. He and me in New York. I Good. was working there. Good. Well, so, uh, 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 you are welcome to our class, Domingo. So uh, yes, uh, uh, join as often as you want to. We have daily classes. So thank you very much, Samita, for introducing. Uh, us to him and him to us. So thank you. Yes. Anybody else? Any question, comment? <clears throat> I think we are good. We are good. Okay. Uh, a, a couple